Nine stars! <laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video we're going to be doing three insane levels. It's been a while since I've done this and I think insane levels they just don't get enough love, you know? People either play the easier ones because they just want a quick fix or they go for the harder levels. I think some of these have been recently featured. Velocity 3 is pretty cool. Piano Slap. I mean the level's called, it's called Piano Slap and there's a piano literally slapping. I mean, how, how could I not play this? And Grey Pantheon is just a super fun level. So these are the three I'm going to be doing today. Before I start the video, I'm going to be doing a shout out. And the shout out goes to the very talented artist who did my new channel banner. It's a very beautiful channel banner. Take a look at it if you haven't already. Uh, the artist's name is Amor Ultra. Now, Amor Ultra has done a lot of art for a lot of GD players. Like, you see the art for, like, Aeon and Trusta and various other famous people in the community where you see their avatars. And that's all done by Amor Ultra. He's a very amazing artist. He also does really cool videos, so you should check out his YouTube channel. He does commentary-style videos on Geometry Dash and various other games. Very funny guy. Go check him out. Link is in the description. It's also in the comment section. Go and subscribe to that guy. Very talented, very funny. Also, I want to give a shout out to RobTop because I went to log in today and Geometry Dash wasn't working. I had to delete my data and reload it and I lost about a month of data. So I lost the Crystal Gauntlet, I lost the Doom Gauntlet, but I did save my data right after 2.11 came out, so I still have my icons. Anyways, whatever. Let's get into these levels. Velocity 3 by Jacker360. Here we go. I'm super excited. So, you know, if I really like this, I might have to go back and play Velocity, uh... Velocity 1 and 2, right? Because there's bound to be a Velocity 1 and 2 if this is Velocity 3. Holy crap, how am I still alive? I'm fluking. Ooh, nice music sync. I really like that. Bomp, bomp, like that. It goes, like, into the dash ring. Wee hee! Oh, I almost died there. Ooh, this is a pretty easy 9-star. Although, maybe I've just gotten lucky. Hold. Oh, here we go. This is why it's called Velocity. We're speeding up, baby. Oh, shit, yeah! This is really fun. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Ooh, shit. Wow, how am I still alive? How am I still, how am I still alive? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. This is cool. The, um, I love the design of it, and I also really like, uh, the music sync. It goes really well to the music. Like that. Bom, bom. And, like, you go into the dash room. I really like that effect. So it looks like this level's gonna be really long, because the progress bar isn't moving that far. But I know it's just because later on in the level, it's just gonna be, like, super high speed, and the progress bar is gonna fill up really quick. Oh, God. So make sure you hold down the button all the way. Okay, this part. You can read this. Hold, okay. Yeah. Whoa, ah! I'm gonna have to practice that, god damn it. I'm done, that's it, I give up. It's like really cool how it's like shaking, it's like wah, and the level like shakes, but I'm like, I'm, tr I'm tripping, all right? So we hit that, hit that, and then we gotta jump in the air like we just don't care, and then jump in the air like we just don't care again, and then wow. Okay, good, 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 good. We're just jumping away, and then we're like the wave. Where did we go? <laughs> oh, we go underneath. I'm wondering, like, what happens when we go in there? When we go in there, we, like, teleport up top, and then we die, don't we? Or something? I don't know. Okay, we go underneath. I got it. We go into the light. That's weird. It looks like that light stuff will kill you, but I guess not. Ooh, you can just, like, fly right through there if you're badass enough, but you're not supposed to, obviously. You're supposed to, like... Go down there and hold down the button. So you need to hold down the button until you bounce up like that. And then you just tap it and then tap it. That's actually pretty easy. Okay, cool. It looks like it's going to be way harder than it is. Oh, what's going on here? Um, oh, I'm a spider, aren't I? Oh, no. Spider gameplay was bad. It was bound to happen at some point, wasn't it? Wow, this spider part is really hard for me. You hit the button once and then you gotta like go off the ledge and then you like go down. Oh my god. Oh my god, the spider part. Wow, that's a really cool looking wave part. The spider part is so ridiculously hard for me and I don't know why. Whoa, this is cool. Wow, that's a, like a really cool section. It's one of the coolest looking parts, but I have no idea what's going on there. So which one do I hit? I don't hit that one. Oh, I just hit, okay, I hit the first one. And then I can, like, go into the ball. Okay. So hit the first one. Do-do, do-do, do-do. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my God. This is another spider part. God damn it. This is another spider part. Holy sh... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I hit once, and then I hit both of those, and then I... What? So, oh my God. This is, this is not nine stars. 
I've played easy demons that are way easier than this. <laughs> this is insane. What's going on here? Oh my god, this is a very cool level. It's very cool. But my god, is it hard. So I think I have most of this level up until the very end. It just so happens that like the hardest part of the level is like right at, right at the very end because the timings are really awkward here. You really got to hit the jump rings in a very specific way. Oh no. This is going to take me a while to do for sure. I would say this is like a little bit harder than an easy demon. Maybe about an easy demon difficulty, like a normal easy demon. Because there are some pretty easy, easy demons out there, you know. But this one, the level comes at you quick. Some of the timings are a little tough. And that's what makes it hard. Like, the flying sections and the wave sections aren't that hard. The timings in the spider and the icon and the ball sections and the UFO as well uh, make it pretty hard. But yeah, it's a challenge that I'm willing to do. Let's do this. It's fun. It's just challenging. It's just not nine stars is all. But it's a very fun level. I really like it. Really like learning it. There's a lot, there's a lot to know. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, fall. Okay, so you don't jump into the, oh wow. Hold, wait, let go, push, push. All right, we're going, we're going. Now spider, come on, we can do this. I practiced this extensively so that I wouldn't die there. Oh my God, beast mode, beast mode. Go through there, boom, 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 boom. Boom, and hit those late, those green jump rings, and pink jump ring. Oh, we're flying, we're flying. Okay, let's straighten ourselves out here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh crap, this is the hard part though. This is the hard part, it's like so insane from here on out. Come on, ah, no! yeah, you gotta fall onto there on the platform as the wave, and then you jump up as the icon, and uh, really quick. So when you go into that portal, as the wave, you can't be going up. You have to like fall down into it so you land on the platform as the icon. If you go up, you can actually overshoot it. Of course, that was my one good attempt and now it's gonna take me like ages to get back there. <laughs> oh yeah, you change into the spider up there. Oh, I forgot, oh my God. What? Oh, you can go through there too high and like you bounce up and you hit the spike and there's nothing you can do and that's exactly what happened there is I was too high and then it bounced me up and I hit the spike. Oh, why would I? Why did I die there at the beginning too? This is unforgiving. That's what the, if I had one word to describe this level, unforgiving. That's exactly how I would describe it. My god, it looks cool. But holy shit, man. You have to do exactly what this level wants you to do. You deviate from that just a little bit. The level's like, get in the trash can, you go, mother. You're dead. Where did I, where were you, what shit happened there? Where are you going? Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Of course! Come on! Oh, you gotta hold down as the ship there! Ah! No! I would have gotten there if I would have just pressed the button as the ship. I forgot. Oh, god. Ugh, that comes at you quickly, yeah. Come on, that was gonna be it. No way. It was gonna be the end of my suffering? Are you kidding me?
on. <laughs> okay, so I will say this, this level is very difficult. Once you learn it, it's pretty fun, but the end part still has some awkward timings where there's more than meets the eye to it. Like, it looks like when you first encounter it, you go, oh, I know how to do that. I can see what's going on. But it's not. There's a lot of little specific timings that you have to learn. And there's so many little things that you have to learn in this level where it's it's much more difficult than it seems. I still really enjoyed it though. It's fast paced, it's fun, and once you learn it, it, it feels good to play. But holy hell does it take a while to learn how to play. And is it hard? This is like, I would say probably this is like a 4 out of 10 difficulty demon. Like, in between an easy and a medium. Maybe even a medium. Alright? This was insane! This is not... This is not a 9 star level. That's crazy! That's crazy! Velocity 3, you guys did a good job. It looks very cool. It plays well. Once you know how to do it, it plays well. But mo my god. My... God, is it just harder than 9 stars. Let's go on to... Grey Pantheon next by Nashi. I, um... I played a bit of this one, just like a little bit, and it seems like it's pretty easy, but then again, I mean, who knows, right? I mean, it seems like it's gonna be much easier than the last level, but that's, that's pretty easy to do, being easier than the last level, you know? I think that's pretty easy indeed. Here we go. Yep, and now we're a ship, and we're just flying, we're just, ow, okay, <laughs> there are some, uh, there are some spikes at the top there that can kill you, but whatever. I mean, heck, if the whole level's about this difficulty, we can do it. Just fly, 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 go under. There we go. And now we're a spider, but we did it. It's pretty easy. Oh, that's a pretty easy spider. Oh, we're flying. We're going. Are we, like, almost halfway through the level, really? Yeah. Yeah, this is what I expected when I saw nine stars, you know? Something like this. Ah, okay, you don't go up there. Wow, 50%. You know, we're nailing it. It's fun. It's cool. And I like the way it looks, too. It's called Grey Pantheon. And, uh, yeah. It looks like we're stuck in, like, a grey, like, torture cage or something, you know? I dig it. And I dig the song, too. It's cool. Kind of gritty, you know? How I'd expect, like, a grey level to sound like, right? Very cool. Very cool looking. Okay, let's do this part. And let's make sure we go down next time. Yeah, down, not up. Good. Boom, 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 boom. Just even, even strokes. Even strokes for us, folks. What? Ah, oh, there's a black jump ring there. It's always, it's always the black jump rings that kill me. Black jump rings. And it's a very dark level too, so that's why I, I can't see it. For some reason, I just don't have a vision for black jump rings. Like, I don't see them. It's like my eyes, like, block them out for me. My eyes try to protect me from the black jump rings for some reason. I don't know why. They don't want me to see them for some reason. Boom. And hit the black jump ring. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? What? Wow! <laughs> that looks like there's multiple paths there. Like, there's different ways to go. Okay, so you go up there for a coin. Wow, I didn't even know I was on, like, a coin path or anything. Okay. So I bounce up here. Like, I wonder what's the legit way. Oh, that's the legit way. And then there's a black jump ring there. Okay. And boom. Boom. Oh, you gotta hit that black jump ring late. Wow, that's, that's a little crazy timing. So, boom, boom, boom. Or maybe you don't even have to hit the black jump ring if you go the coin path. You can just hit the yellow jump ring like a little late. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I'll just take that way and I'll get a coin. Normal path seems like much harder for me. Okay, Grey Pantheon. I think if we get past that maze section, we'll be able to... We'll be able to do it, you know? Wow. So, this level... I would say is maybe a little easier than nine stars. Maybe like, I would say around eight, somewhere around there. Wow, I didn't go through that UFO section very well. And jump, there we go. That should be good till the end, unless I 
somehow mess up this UFO, or not UFO, uh, robot part, which I'm a little bit nervous now because I said it and I might have jinxed myself. Please don't mess it up. Just remember, Eric, there's that one uh, jump pad that you got to go on to. There we go. This one. And now we, that's it until the end. But boom We nailed that in like under 10 minutes. You know how long it took me to do Velocity 3? It took me an hour. <laughs> and that's the only coin! We, we, we completely mastered this level. Grey Pantheon by Nashi. We completely mastered this. Yes! That was really fun. I really like that level. I like the way it looks. I like the music sync. Um, I like the maze part. It was fun. It was fun all around. I really like it. Next one is Piano Slap by Nico999. Uh, it says level has a high, I forgot all- Usually I have that setting gone, but because I had to reset everything because I had to lie, I lost my data for a month, then like all the settings restarted again. And this is cool! Look at it, it's like there's a piano and it's slapping, right? Isn't that- that's so awesome. It like, you really get what the title says. The title says piano slap, and you get piano slaps. That's beautiful, I- I love it. Oh shit! We're gonna have to practice that part, that comes at you quick. You know, some titles of levels, they have like the name, like to be something cool, you know, like... Extreme Bloody Nightmare, and it doesn't have like any blood or nightmares or anything. But this one's called Piano Slap, and you go, huh, Piano Slap? Like... Is there gonna be a piano song? Like, how is that gonna be in a level? But there's actually piano slaps, which is awesome. Okay, so this comes at you really quick. So we need to like jump, jump, jump. Wow, jump. Oof. I'm overcomplicating that. So we jump, jump, and we just fall. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a whole lot easier than I was making it out to be. So this part is pretty quick. There's a bit of memorization, but it's pretty fair. You don't have to hit the button like too fast, which is nice. Um, so there is some time to think, right? But it still comes at you, like, pretty quick, and you still gotta remember what's coming up. I think once we get into that, um, ship section here, it'll, like, start to chill out a little bit. Whoa, that's cool! Jump rings everywhere, and they're moving around. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Geometrical Dominator! Oh no! <laughs> There's a Geometrical Dominator part! Oh god, the nightmares! Oh, that's- it's really short, though. Okay, and then this part's, like, super chill. The piano stopped slapping me. This part's really easy to sight read, actually. This part's cool, it like, takes you through, uh... A bunch of portals and then you gotta hit that, like, green jump ring. I, I really dig that. Okay, Piano Slap is a really fun level, I just finished practicing it. Uh, there is a little bit of know-how, cause some of the transitions are pretty quick. Um, but overall it's pretty fair, you know. There's usually, like, like just a jump ring right after a transition. So it's like... Not too bad, you just gotta make sure to push the button at some of the transitions is all. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty- it's pr it was pretty easy to learn. Couple little memorization bits, but... Like here. But not too bad! Am I gonna be able to do it? Oh my god! And then you're the upside down rocket, yeah. I gotta remember that. Hey, that's pretty good progress, though. We got past, like, almost the entire first memorization part, but then we died to, uh... To the transition into the next part. Oh, what? I'm pressing the button too early when I'm going through some of those UFO portals. And then instead of like doing a reverse jump down and then a normal jump up after the portal, I do like two jumps down. Damn! Here we go. Yes! Now, can I remember the geometrical domin. Nader, what? I thought I hit that. Well, I was pressing the button, but I think I was too late. Like, I had jumped a little too late one of the other times. Dang it. Of course, Geometrical Dominator kills me. Whatever. I was expecting it. Come on. This part's easy. Boom. And now it's a wave, right? Yep. Wave's easy, too. But there's one last little tricky part. Here, come on. Go down, and then boom! And hold down the button, hold down the button, reverse, and go up there. No! I thought I had to go up right away because as soon as you land on the next platform, you have to go up right away because if you don't, you die. And I thought I had to go up right away there. Ah, so close! There are definitely some tricky timings in this level. Particularly in the middle part. 
Um, with the moving jump rings, the jump orbs when they pop up, that timing can be a little weird because you can actually go into that section a little awkwardly and then it can kill you. Okay, go. And I think we got it. That's it. Oh, that was really fun. Piano slap. Wow. Pretty fast paced. But once you get it, you got it. And uh, this is all about just remembering where the jump rings are, like the skill portions, like the flying and the wave. Pretty easy. It's about knowing when to press the button as the UFO, when to press the jump ring timings. And once you do, it feels very fluid and it feels good to play. Cool. Piano Slap by Nico99. I really liked it. I liked all the levels that we played today. I liked Piano Slap. I liked Grey Pantheon. These are pretty normal, like nine star levels. And Velocity 3, even though it was difficult, it was still really fun. It's just with Velocity 3, like you see the nine star rating and you have this expectation of what difficulty you're getting yourself into. And then when you go and play something, when you think it's gonna be nine stars, but it turns out it's like a medium demon, that like, I, I don't know. It's, it's really easy to get frustrated while you're playing it because your expectation does not meet reality, right? So this, that rating needs to be changed like ASAP. <laughs> like somebody change that. You're. These nine star levels, Grey Pantheon and Piano Slap, those are, that's good difficulty, right? And those were way easier, you know? 116 attempts for Piano Slap because there was a bit of memorization, but other than that, it's pretty easy. And um, Grey Pantheon is probably like way less, like 28 attempts, right? Grey Pantheon's maybe like an eight star level, to be honest. Uh, Velocity 3, though, man, like 374 attempts, that's like. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, okay? Oh, man. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to check out Amor Ultra, very amazing guy, very amazing YouTuber. As always, peace.